Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This video is part of a series of videos about how to uninstall and install a Wacom or Wacom driver. This particular video is going to deal directly with uh, doing it on a Mac. Okay, so in a previous video when I was talking about installing a new driver, in other words, you've got notification that there's uh, an update to your driver. What I would recommend is always using your Wacom Desktop Center, regardless of whether you're on a Mac or a PC. So if you're updating uh, your driver, then I would go through the Wacom Desktop Center. But in the, in some cases, people have I don't know, they got a, a corrupted driver, there's some sort of glitch that's happening, or whatever. But we've decided that we want to uninstall the current driver and reinstall it, okay? In that case, the Wacom Desktop Center wouldn't work for you. So the first thing you want to do is back up your preferences. And you can do that through your Wacom Desktop Center and let me just show you, if we open that up, here's your backup uh, for your, uh, your preferences or settings for your tablet. So you want to back it up there, or you want to go to, on a Mac, it's called Wacom Tablet Utility. On a PC, it's Wacom Tablet Preference Utilities. And you can go there and back up your preferences or your settings. Now, I'm going to show you how to get there, but before uh, before we get there, I want to stay here and, and, and talk about the rest of this. So I'm, I'm assuming at this point you've backed up your preferences, okay? So after you've backed up your preferences, then you want to disconnect your tablet from your computer. If you have a Cintiq, all you have to do is disconnect the tablet part. You don't have to disconnect the monitor part. So you're just going to disconnect where the Cintiq connects to your USB port. If you're using a tablet, then it is only connected in one place and you would disconnect that from the USB port. And if you're using a wireless system, and I don't have a wireless system, so I'm going to guess here, but I'm guessing that there is a little USB plug that you've plugged into US, to your USB port that communicates with your tablet. You want to take that out. Okay, so now we're, our tablet is completely disconnected from the computer. All right, so it says here, download the new driver, and let's just skip that for the moment because I'm assuming you have already downloaded the driver you want to use, and it's sitting somewhere on your computer. So at this point, we're now going to uninstall the current driver. Now, to do that on a Mac, there's there are a couple of ways that uh, have been suggested no, let me rephrase that. So, a, a good friend of mine who owns a Mac tells me this is the best way to do it, and I trust it. Uh, I know that people do it differently, and we'll talk about that as we go through. But basically, what you want to do is click on your applications and then look for your Wacom tablet folder. Now, as I've said, some people do this differently. They take the Wacom tablet folder and drop it into the trash. I don't think that's the best way to do it, okay? Not based on what I've been told by my friend, and I, I really trust this. What I think is best is to go to, click on your Wacom tablet folder, which will open up some applications. And then you want to go to the Wacom Tablet Utility. And this is where you also back up your preferences. Remember, I told you I was going to show you about that. So if you click on the Wacom Tablet Utility, then this is going to pop up. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you click here and back up your preferences. Once you've backed up your preferences, and you uninstall and reinstall the driver, 
You can then come back to this Wacom Tablet Utility and click on Restore, and you can restore the backed up preferences, and you don't have to re-enter them into uh, the tablet software. All right, so we've backed up our preferences. Now, here is Tablet Software Remove. Instead of dropping that whole folder into your trash, you want to click here. Click Remove Tablet Software, and it will remove your software cleanly from your Mac. Okay, so that's how you would uninstall uh, your current driver from your Mac. Now, after you uninstall, you want to reboot your computer. Once the reboot is done and the computer opens again, you want to go to wherever that driver was that you had saved. The, um, uh, you know, you, you, you save that current driver somewhere and you double click on it and it will open for you. Okay, it will open and it will automatically install. This is the driver that you've downloaded from Wacom at some point, and you've saved it on your computer, and you double click it, and it will install automatically onto your computer. After the installation, you want to reboot your computer again. Okay, once it opens up and everything seems to be fine, then take your tablet and connect, connect it back to the t uh, to your computer. So you uh, and after you connect your tablet to your computer, then you want to go back to Wacom Tablet Utility and restore your settings, and you should be good to go. Everything will have been done. That's the best way, I believe, to uninstall and install a current driver to a Mac. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.